Hello you lovely people, welcome back to my channel and to another edition of Handheld Recap. And this one is one that I uh, unboxed uh, quite some time ago now guys, probably about mm, six months or so ago. Um, so yeah, I felt it was time to jump back on it. Now, this is a handheld that comes in many guises because the same games, the same board and everything is used in so many different Chinese uh, handhelds. Usually they're in um, portrait mode, but this one is in landscape, which is what this makes this so much better than the others already, that it has this form factor, fantastic, fantastic form factor. But what is it called? Well, uh, that is a hard one, guys, until you get to the booklet that comes with it. In the booklet, it actually tells you what this thing is called. On the box itself, it doesn't really tell you anything. But what I can tell you is it is called the FC Family Pocket Gamer Player. Okay, so it's the FC Family Pocket, basically, Gamer Player. Yeah, I mean... It's the usual kind of pigeon English, and that's why I've grabbed this book, guys, because I wanted you to read some of this with me. Well, I'm going to read it to you. Anyway, here we go. Thanks. Thanks for purchasing our FC Family Pocket Gamer Player. This product is small and family pocket portable. It has a lot of super class FC single and multiplayer games which will make your spare life colourful. This is a small and easy carrying product, so you can play with it at any time and any place. And here, before using it, please read the following contents prior to connecting and playing to ensure proper use and care. Yeah, the usual kind of Chinese gobbledygook. That does kind of make sense, but you've got to have a bit of a, yeah, a think about what they're actually trying to say. But yeah, they're saying about connecting, guys, because you actually do get in the box this. Your very basic <laughs> setup for the TV. So you can plug this in. It's only the yellow and the red. And then, of course, the, uh, the bit that goes into the machine itself, which is quite a long plug. On it there quite a long sticky plug but yeah um i wouldn't say it's the world's greatest uh, quality it is uh quite short so you're probably gonna have to sit practically on the tv but at least you get it and you have the option of plugging it in and uh, playing it over the tv the other thing you get in the box is this charger cable and that brings me nicely onto the unit because yes this unit does have a rechargeable battery in it it's the old style mini b and um, as you will see here he says there we go old style mini b there we are but that has got quite a nice length on it but here we go with the actual console itself which is a bit dirty let's uh, give that a wipe there we go kind of a dirty screen no it's still a bit dirty but never mind Yes, here we go, guys, with the console. Now, as you can see, it is in landscape mode, which is fantastic. It gives you a much nicer feel to it. I do love machines in landscape mode, although there are some fantastic machines out there which are in portrait. So what do you get on it? Well, you get this lovely effect here. The silver bit around the screen, I like that. I really, really like these bits of effect there and on the side the edges and i tell you what the build quality of this thing is pretty cool until you get up here guys you might not be able to see that but that is actually there just there <laughs> one of the wires has been trapped 
so I would have to release the uh, screws in the back and just push that in. But yeah, don't let that uh, deviate from the fact that it is actually a pretty fantastic uh, quality item. The plastics are nice. The buttons feel okay. I wouldn't say they're the best, but they feel okay. That D-pad feels like it's doing its job. The A, B, Y and X feel pretty nice as well. And uh, if you watch the original unboxing, you will know already, like I said, that it has a rechargeable uh, battery in it. So yeah, you've got the port at the top and you have the TV out and you have the on and off switch right there. And as usual on these things, guys, a place to put a lanyard if you wish. And I think it's only on the one side this time. Yeah, it appears to be. Then round the back, guys, it looks like you have two speakers, but you don't. That's a big fat lie because that is not real. This one is. It's just a mono speaker. Again, I love the effect here. It's actually nice when you hold it in your hand for a bit of grip. Then you get to the battery compartment here. Uh, which, like I said, guys, is rechargeable and surprise, surprise, it's a Nokia style battery as usual, but pretty cool that it's rechargeable, not having to worry about flipping batteries all the time. Then up here, guys, you just got the markings for on and off, your TV out, and of course, your charger port, which is DC 5 volt. So, yeah, all in all, guys, this is a pretty fantastic. Uh, build quality, it's got to be said for such a cheap little item, and uh, it was purchased from TeamU. Not sure if they're still selling them, and um, they were till recently, so hopefully you can still go over there and pick one of these up. But yeah, it's nice, guys. But what is it? Well, I think you can guess by the name in the book that it is a family clone, isn't it? It's in this clone, guys. Yeah, the same old thing as usual. But it plays pretty damn well. There is a bit of screen tearing now and again, but in general, it plays pretty damn well. So let's turn this thing on and you get the usual thing, guys, with your Chinese and English selection. Here we go. Now, hopefully you can see that screen. Very odd choice here, and I mentioned this in the previous video, very, very odd choice that you have a Christmas theme on the uh, <laughs> turn on of this machine. What the hell? I do not know. I mean, obviously we're getting towards Christmas now, so it's quite suitable now. You can imagine playing this in the summer. Uh, yeah, a little bit weird choice, isn't it, to have a Christmas theme, but it's definitely Rudolph looking green and Santa looking like he's a mutated version of himself. What is nice is the little light there, so you do have a little bit of an indicator of what charge you've got in this thing. But yeah, let's go into it. Right, so you go down to English, and then you're in. And here we go, guys. Now, it's suddenly changed to a very freaky looking green mouse. I think he's a mouse. He kind of looks like a mouse. Yeah, he's a brown and green mouse. Now, it has to be said, guys, that the uh, viewfinder is washing this out a lot because it is actually pretty damn clear. And when you turn it, it does stay there. But it's all been a bit lost on the uh, viewfinder here. But you've got a ton of games on here, guys. In actual fact, 520 in one, as it says there. Now, on the box, it tells you that it's been upgraded to 520. So I don't know if this was out before and it had less games on it. I presume so, that they're claiming that. Whether it's true or not is another matter with all of these types of machines. It's a little bit hmm, iffy. What is the truth, of course? But let's go up for a change. Let's go right to the 520 there and take a look at one of the games that is uh, basically been made by the, the usual Taiwanese developer who bangs all these out onto old machines, onto these and what have you. Of course, you've got a lot of NES clones on here as well, but I thought we'd have a look at something that is, uh, yeah, Made from the ground up, if you like. Uh, let's go for... Hmm, what shall we go for? If we can even read it, being so bloody washed out. But yeah, let's go for... Oh, let's go for Gold Digger. I just saw that. Where are we? There we go. Hopefully you can see anything at all. And then press Start again to start it. There we go. 
Should be all right for you to see now. Crazy gold digger. Now, I don't know if this is an S-clone or one of the built-up ones, but I think it is. It's one of the ones made by that Taiwanese company. Okay, here we go. Let's see how this goes. They're usually just uh, clones of other things anyway. I mean, this game... Oh, I'm dead already, guys. This game I've seen in so many different uh, guises. It really is that... <laughs> that bloody hard that I died again. But you can say, yeah, we've all seen this before, haven't we? This type of game, at least. Oh, I'm doing absolutely terrible. Oh, the game over. Yeah, whatever. Come on in, let's play again. Come on, you sod. Yeah, absolutely awful, especially on the... <laughs> unwashed out screen. But yeah, this is what you're doing, guys. You're trying to collect these buggers here. Now, to get to that in time is a different matter, isn't it? No, oh, they got me again. You sod. They look almost like peas that you're trying to collect, don't they? They certainly do. Bloody peas or something. Ah, no, 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 he's going to get me again. Oh, tell you what, you've got to be bloody fast on this one. I'm playing absolute dog shit. That is for sure. There we go, get that one. Can we get him? Did we get him or not? Oh, what happened there? I don't even know what happened there. That was very, very weird. Right, okay, let's get out of that one because I'm just just absolutely awful. So yeah, it was gold, I, I presume you were trying to get. Now we've got the usual problem, guys, of when you reset it, you go back onto this bloody menu. This drives me nuts on these machines, guys. It drives me nuts that you go back to the language choice. It's flipping annoying. But right, okay. Let's go for something. Uh, hmm, what shall we go for? You got Street Fighter 20 here. Yeah. That's an interesting one, isn't it? But um, yeah, we won't go for that one. Let's go down a bit further. Let's see what we've got here. Oh, th this is where it gets hilarious, guys. As usual with these types of machines, you got all these different Mario's on here and Contra 6, 7, 8. Oh, final mission. Um, yeah. Then you got, yeah, like I said, Super Mario Bros. And you go down further and you get to like Super Mario 10. So shall we try Super Mario 10 and see what you get, eh? Oh, apart from a washed out bloody screen. Now this, this, this is hilarious, guys, because these are ROM hacks. They're not Mario games at all. That is a lot of old crap. They <laughs> are ROM hacks of other games. And it is absolutely hilarious to me. It really is so funny. Right, okay, so here we go, guys. This is gonna look very washed out by the looks of it. Oh dear, here we go. We're going to see our uh, our guide or our sensei or something hilarious like that. And um, yeah, I think you can tell, guys, this is not a Mario game, but it's quite interesting to see it like this. I mean, it's fun to uh, even you know, have this at all, really. I mean, it's so freaking stupid and it's unbelievable. I mean, like, you get these bloody frogs coming and killing you. Oh, dear me. This is funny. Very, very funny, guys. Everything you can kill, as you can see. Yeah, and come on, then you saw these a little bit more tricky, of course. Oh, there you go, you bugger, look, I fell down there then. Oh, because if you stay on here too long, you die, yeah, okay. But you can see, guys, this is definitely not a Mario game by a long shot. They've just used a sprite and a very badly done sprite, to be fair, of Mario. But it's fun. That is the thing with these games, guys. They are bloody fun. And it is a ROM hack, so that is a real game. I can't put my finger on what game it is. I really can't. It's very, very familiar. Um, I'm sure I've played the original before. Um, but yeah, it is funny. There's a bit of challenge to it, though. Even with Mario and his massive head, it is pretty funny. So yeah, that is pretty cool, guys. But then let's do that again. Oh, dear. Back to the old language select again. Right, here we go. Hmm. Right, what shall we go for now? Let's go for... Something a bit more familiar, like, yeah, Snow Bros. Right, okay, here we go then. Let's see how this plays. 
music certainly sounds fine. Yeah, one player, thank you. Yeah, okay, thank you. All in uh, Chinese there. But this is a very fun game, guys. Quite similar, actually, to the first game we played. In the sense that you're trying to get up, of course. Trying to get up here, and yeah, of course you uh, kill these bloody things here. Oh, they got me. As usual, they got me first. Oh dear. Ah, yep, yeah, buggers. Yeah, we'll keep trying. Oh, yes, yeah, sods, where are you going now? No, 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 no. Oh, you yeah, bugger. No, I've got me again. Because it's, pl it's playing pretty damn well, to be fair. It is. But of course, I've got to kill all these buggers, haven't I? Yes, I do. There we go. Get that. Yeah, we got it. Well, we killed him anyway. We didn't exactly get him very easily. Oh, got me again. <laughs> Honestly, guys, it is fun um, when you can play it properly. There we go. Got that one. Yeah. Oh, did we get him? No, we didn't. He got me instead. But yeah, you can see, guys, Snow Bros is playing fine. <laughs> Just not for me. Because I'm playing shite, as usual. There we go, we can get that now. Yeah. Oh, yeah, bugger. There we go. We got it. There we go again with this one. There we are. Yeah, got it. Oh, but he got me as well, but never mind. We are getting there. Oh, they got me again, guys. Right, okay. Let's go back to that bloody pit, shall we? <sighs> Here we go. Yeah, back to this bit, guys. And uh, we'll take a look at one more, shall we? Shall we take a look at the god-awful Angry Bird version that appears on all these machines? <laughs> oh, my dear God. How horrendous does that look? Even the music is just, oh, awful. Now, it sounds like I'm slagging this machine off. I'm not, guys. There's 520 games on here. Some are very well-known NES titles, and they're actually really, really fun to play on this thing. It's actually a fantastic little handheld, really, especially for the price. I do believe it cost about 16 quid, which you can't grumble at, really. It's, it's not bad. Maybe been less. I'm not too sure now. But it's a fantastic little thing. It really is. Just this. Something like this Angry Birds one does puzzle me a bit. I mean, look at that. Oh, dear God, I didn't do very well there, did I? At all. I mean, this is an awful version of Angry Birds, to be fair. Are we going to get them all? No, we only got the one. How stupid was that? Come on, get the rest of them. No, we're only getting one at a time. It's not even playing that like Angry Birds usually does, is it? <laughs> oh, this is awful. Come on, get that last one. No, you, it's, like, it's almost like you can't reach it. You know what, I'm not even going to uh, oh, punish myself with that anymore. So, yeah, there we go, guys. That was the last one. But what an interesting little unit it is. Seriously, um, you know, it might seem, like I said, like I was slagging it off, obviously with the little uh, <laughs> cable there. Um, but no, let, let, let's be serious, guys. In this recap, I've had quite some time with this now. I, I say it was about six months ago, I do believe, when I got this. And I have played it quite a bit. The build quality, like I said, is good. Very, very good. Um, the buttons are all right. They do what they need to do for such a cheap little unit. They do what they need to do. What I do absolutely love about it is the form factor, obviously, being in landscape. Then having the rechargeable battery is brilliant as well. He says trying to get that muck off the screen, but uh, doesn't seem to want to. Yeah, that, that is fantastic. That's rechargeable. Not having to worry about the batteries all the time. And yeah, I mean, it's a good little thing. 520 games on there. You will get some bloody fun out of it. Now, this might be, again, a wonderful stocking filler with the Christmas theme being there and when you turn it on. Uh, yeah, stocking filler for the kids, for yourselves. I mean, an adult can chuck this in their bag easy enough and, uh, yeah, and have a bit of fun with it. Um, it's not the greatest thing on earth. Of course it isn't. It's one of them, isn't it? It's one of them Chinese knockoff things. 
a NES clone, family clone, whatever you want to call it. But it's a decent one. It's nicely made and the games are fun. And the screen's not bad at all, guys. Apart from a little bit of screen tearing occasionally as you get on all of these units, it's not bad at all. So yes, guys, it's over to you. Will you pick one of these up off Team U if they're still there? Uh, like I said, I think that they are about 16 quid, but I think that was with postage. So they're probably only about a tenner or so. Um, it's definitely worth that money because you could go into Morrison's or many other places, guys, and buy one of those, like B&M's, you get the handhelds, and you're basically getting more or less the same bloody thing. And you're paying like over 20 quid for it. So yeah, I think... This is absolutely fine, and it's got the NES clones on it, the NES games on it, the hacks. It's got so much fun on here that I couldn't obviously cover in this video. Then, of course, you can plug it into the TV, which makes all the difference as well, even if it is with an awful lead. But you can do it. That is an option for you. You can do it. Comes with its charger as well, which is brilliant. That you know, obviously being a rechargeable battery, that is excellent that you get the cable with it. And uh, I think pretty much a necessity. It's not a great shock that it's there. But yeah, very, very cool, guys. Not having to worry about the batteries. So yeah, will you pick one of these up? He says, finding bits of gack. And uh, yeah, have you got one already? Do you play it? Or is it something that you played for five minutes and then you just went, oh, bugger that, I can't be bothered with it anymore. Just because I get a bit of fun out of this, and obviously being a handheld collector, I absolutely adore it. I think it's great for the price, a nice quality, and all that gubbins. Um, yeah, but it's over to you guys. Comment away. What do you think of this product? And with that, guys, I'm going to wrap things up, and I'm going to say the usuals. If you're not subbed already, please drop me a sub. Give me a funny thumbs up if you feel that way inclined. And of course, tap the bell icon and the all icon to get any future notifications whatsoever. And again, guys, if you love emulation and retro systems, I've got a fantastic group for you on Facebook. It is the Retro Emulation and Consoles Fan Group. And with 5,000 members, guys, there is plenty of people to banter with and have a chat with. So yeah, what a wonderful place to be. There's tons of content from system unboxing, system reviews, emulation performance, tech help videos, and a whole lot more. So if you love all that, guys, that is the place to be, linked below. And then, guys, I also have my UK Crap Gaming Facebook group as well, where we cover everything gaming, from the dawn of gaming, right the way through to PS5 and everything that came in between. And again, tons of content there, guys, because other YouTubers put their videos up there every single day, including myself, of course. So, yeah, what a wonderful place to be as well. Again, linked below. Then finally, guys, I have my channel membership. For as little as 99 pence a month, you can become a member of the UK Crap family. This will give you access to the members-only videos. It will also get you a badge next to your name in the comments that changes colour every month and lets everybody know that you are indeed a member of the UK Kraut family. So if that floats your boat, again, linked below. Look for the join box, head over, and take a look and see what you think. And with that, I'm going to say, I'll be does in, bye-bye. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye-bye.